<laughs> hey, hello, this is Flurry Rose. I'm here with Google Glass, and today I'm going to show you how to do some DIY floral nail art. So what we're going to do is start out with a base coat. I can't believe I can see it, <laughs> it on the screen at the same time. It's amazing. Okay, so next step is we are gonna apply a base color and I chose this blue, um, but you can use whatever color you like. It's fun because with designs like this, you can actually kind of customize it with whatever colors you like and um, kind of make it a little bit different each time you try it. You can see I'm brushing a little bit on the tip of the nail too, and um, that is actually gonna make it so the polish sticks a little bit better, better and doesn't chip as fast. Okay, so now we have the base color. It looks really pretty, and the fun part is doing the art. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, and I have my palette here, as you can see. Um, it, this is just what I put all my paints on when I'm doing a design. So you can use like tin foil or whatever kind of thing you have laying around the house, like plastic lid or something. Um, but it's gonna get ruined, so just use something that's not like too nice. <laughs> Um, and so I'm going to do red roses or a red sort of flower um, something that's going to contrast well with this blue color so I think this is going to show up really nice with the blue and you can choose um, a red accordingly as well so you just take actually first what you need to do is get your brushes out. And I have a really big box full of brushes here. Um, so let's use something a little bit smaller. Something pointy like this maybe would be good. This is just um, something that you can get at the art store or the craft store. <laughs> and it's small so that means you can get tinier details. I didn't clean my brush before I put it away. That was bad. <laughs> okay, so we are going to just pour like a little bit of this out into the palette. And you can choose whatever nails, you can do it on all the nails, or you can just do it on a couple. I'm gonna do it on two accent nails here. So, just take like a little bit, not too much, um, which you can control on your brush, and you're going to do um, a little spot like that. And then to make the rose, you're just going to kind of like create almost like punctuation mark. It's like a little swirl. And you're going to just keep building little marks off of that. If you want to do like a perfect swirl, you can, like a little spiral that works. Or you can do something more like this, which I think is a little bit more, let's say, like interpretive of what the rose is going to look like. So right now it's, maybe you can't see that it's a rose, but we're gonna add some other stuff to it and that's going to bring it all together. 
You can even do like a red circle too and then maybe add a little something to the center of it, but this is the way I like to do it. Doesn't need to be perfect either. And a little bit more. So, and then we're going to do the other hand too while well, that's drying. And I'm going to choose the same nails, but you can switch it up too. Looks cool if you do like alternating fingers or like the opposite ones. Next thing. I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> I'm looking at you with Google Glass, you don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next thing is um, we're going to use a green color and it's going to create the leaf. So um, this is a nice like kind of grassy green and you're going to do the same thing where you pour a little bit out on your palette. Just a little bit because you don't need too much. Okay, so is it, how wide is it about? And I'm going to just take my brush, take a little bit of that and then we're going to create this kind of like leafy shape. Hey, come here. Come look at look at you're on Google Glass right now. Oh, look at this. Shit. What is this? It's awesome. Google right? Glass. <laughs> look at it. So there's like a little camera in here and you can like see what? it. It's like <laughs> what? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we're, can we come over and like look at some stuff? Okay, so we're continuing on and we're going to do the leaves. So we're taking our brush, just dipping it in the polish a little bit. And it's kind of like an almond shape, I would say, that we're making here, or like a, almost like a diamond. But if you want to just do like a little line, whatever is kind of at your skill level that you're at. The nice thing about doing, I think, floral nail designs is that they don't need to be perfect. You don't have to be the best artist. They still will look nice, even if it's not like a Picasso. Even though I guess he didn't really do very many floral paintings, so that doesn't really make sense. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The final part is that, well, actually, there's two more parts that we want to do. Um, one more painting part, and then we're, I'm also going to show you how to add a couple studs, which is fun. So we're going to clean off our brush again. And I'm going to take this color here, which is kind of like a lemony yellow. It's like milky, and I'm just going to create some tiny, um, some tiny accents on the nail. So getting out my box of stuff again. And I'm going to use this tool here, which is a dotting tool. Um, now, these tools you can get at the craft store or you can get them at the, more like a nail supply. But it's basically just a little circle on the end of um, a stick. And you can even use a pin that you would use for sewing. So we're going to pour our final color out. And this is the perfect tool if you want to do polka dots. 
So I'm just putting a little bit on the tip, tip dipping it in. So depending on how hard I push down with this, I can make larger size spots or slightly smaller ones. I'm just going to add like a little extra element. It looks very cute like that. So the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to add studs and this is the fun part. So you can see here that I've got all different kinds of studs um, and these are just from like the craft store or um, like a, you can get them from a nail supply too. You know, use whatever you want to, it doesn't really matter. And I think having something that's unique and different is better. So just explore. Um, I'm going to take this, it's just like an orange wood stick, and this is how we're going to pick them up. So, I'm just choosing what size that I want. I think these ones here that are a little bit smaller would be cute. And this is just a clear top coat. So, what you're going to do is coat the nail. And we work one nail at a time. A little bit on the tip. And while it's still wet, you're gonna take your orange wood stick and just lightly touch um, the clear polish and that's gonna make it sticky. And then you can pick up your stud. And I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Like that. And just place it right on the nail. See? And that just adds a little extra, but we always work one nail at a time because you want it to be wet. And also while you're doing this, your floral design is having a little bit of time to dry. Um, you want to make sure that's maybe getting, you know, five, ten minutes, something like that before you put top coat because it could, it could smear. So just give it the time. Um, and the more time you wait, the less likely that's going to happen. So if you have a little bit extra time, just give it the time that it needs. Oops. So cute, love that. Let's finish up this hand. It looks so cool. Looks so cute. And then when we finish off this kind of a design with studs or something, you can use nail glue as well if you want to stick them down, but nail glue is a little bit harder to, um, to work with. So if you're just beginning, like, you know, this is your first nail design, I would say just work with top coat. It's not going to stick quite as long as nail glue, but it's less likely that you're going to get it all over your fingers and like clothes. Sometimes it can come out of the bottle really quickly and make a big mess. So. Just work with whatever is your skill level. And of course, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. So keep practicing. Cute. Now, if you wanted to, you could go back into the roses and maybe put like another color of red, but this is just very simple and basic. So we're gonna finish with one more coat of top coat, um, just to make sure those studs stay on there a little bit better. And then you'll be all done.
Okay, so we can take a little bit closer look at what we did here. And it looks so cute. I love it. What do you think? Oh my God, fantastic. <laughs> so, smiling the whole time. So cool. So awesome. You're so talented. Thank you. I love them. I like the mix and match, not doing them all the same. Yes, absolutely. It's definitely more like on trend right now to do stuff that's a little bit like more different. So I think we did something cool here. So 